friends, our passage of the week is from Judges 6.12. Israel follows the sad pattern of the book of Judges and once again turns to evil and idols. God turns them over to the Mennonites. These foreign raiders spend the next seven years invading and consuming Israel's crops and livestock. Israel cries for help to the Lord. His first step is to send a prophet to remind them of God's goodness and their disobedience. The Lord then appears to Gideon, commanding him to save Israel because God will be with him. Verse 12 says, When the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. I want you to think of Gideon as a reluctant hero. Although Gideon's faith ultimately allows him to complete the Lord's instructions, Gideon will continue to express hesitation and insecurity even as God continues to call him to action. First, he reasons with, with the Lord that he is not up to the challenge. Then, it is as if Gideon wants the Lord to prove who he is. He asks the Lord to wait while he gets an offering, and God said he would wait. When Gideon returned, he placed the offering of food on a rock. The angel of the Lord placed his staff on the rock, and a fire completely consumed the offering. Gideon built an altar to God, and it still stands to this day. Then the Lord tells Gideon to destroy the altar to Baal. Gideon, at night, with the help of a bull and servants, destroys the altar. While Gideon prepares to lead other tribes to destroy the Mennonites, he then has the audacity to ask the Lord to prove who he is twice more. Ultimately, our reluctant hero, with God's help, defeat the Mennonites. Do you think you could have believed God sooner than Gideon? Our Lord and Savior asks you to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbors as you love yourself. How are you doing on his request? Brady out and remember who always loves you.